Good morning, everyone, and welcome again to Sunday School. You may remember I'm, I'm Mr. Hyland, and I'm glad to be with you again. You may remember that about a month ago we talked about Joseph, the father, the earthly father who served as the father for Jesus and um, was the husband of Mary, Jesus' mother. Two weeks ago we talked about John. John um, was just about exactly the same age as Jesus. He told people that they needed to change how they lived, that they needed to change how they thought, and that Jesus, somebody more important than he, was there to help them learn how to think like God. And so, last week, Miss Linda looked at hard questions that Jesus had to answer, that he had to ask, and then he had to answer. Today, we are going to look at something else that may seem hard for us to do and for those disciples of Jesus that they had to do. It's going to be from the Gospel of Matthew. Now, you may have heard about the book of Matthew. You'll also remember that gospel means good news. And so when we talk about the book of Matthew, I like to think about the gospel. According to Matthew, that is the good news that Matthew brought not only to those people back then, but to people today, the good news about Jesus. We're going to look at chapter 10 in that gospel, the, the writing of good news in that Matthew book. And at the, um, at the start of chapter 10, uh, in about verse 2 or 3, you'll find listed the names of the 12 disciples of Jesus as Matthew knew them to be. So if you ever want to find who the, the disciples, the 12 disciples were, go to Matthew chapter 10. You'll find it other places with the names perhaps just a little bit different. We know about those names because Jesus had called his disciples together, all 12 of them, to tell them about something he wanted to do. He told them that they, those 12 disciples, ordinary people, like you, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunts and uncles, maybe Mr. Highland, he wanted them to go out and show to the world, to the people around them, what Jesus had been showing the disciples that he could do. Um, that seems sort of strange. These are 12 ordinary people. They had had no special training. They hadn't gone to classes for weeks on end. They hadn't had a graduation ceremony. Jesus wanted those ordinary people to go out to do what he was doing. And he gave them the authority, the approval for them to go do that. Um, they had some very brief instructions. Jesus told them what to expect, but they hadn't been very long with Jesus. And he said, look, go out and do this. What they did have was Jesus as an example, just as we have Jesus as an example. Now, them going out was a little bit scary because, you see, he told them, don't take any extra clothes with you, just what you're wearing. He told them, don't take any money with you, you're going to need to depend upon what other people provide to you for you providing to them this message about what God would have them do. They didn't know where they were going to stay. But Jesus said, go do it. And you will find places to stay. You'll find food to eat. If you need clothing, you'll be provided with that. How would you like to go on vacation? No extra clothes. No, no 
some money, mom and dad, or whoever you go on vacation with, grandma and grandpa, whoever it is, Uncle Bob, no money. I don't know how you're going to stop at McDonald's without any money. Get an ice cream coat in the evening. But Jesus said it'll work for you. They were to tell the people in that area around them what they had heard Jesus talking about. They were to do what Jesus had been doing for the people along the roads and in the towns where they had walked. Jesus said, you can do this. We are like those disciples. Jesus wants us to show. He wants us to tell what it is that Jesus brings to our lives. He wants us to show people how a relationship with the Father will make them better people. He wanted those disciples to do that, and he wants us to do that. We can show other people. We can tell other people at the right time what it is that Jesus is like. In fact, at the end of the gospel brought to us by Matthew, Jesus says, look, go out everywhere. Tell everybody what you have learned about me and do what I have told you to do. And he expected us, he expected his disciples then, and he expects us now to do that to show what he did and to show how the relationship with the Father as he had a relationship with the Heavenly Father, how that changes people's lives. And then I want you with somebody else in the house. It could be an older brother or sister. It could be, it could be a parent. Maybe it could be an aunt our uncle who stops over at the house maybe it's an older cousin you say hey I want to go take a look at the 25th chapter Matthew 25 where Jesus tells us things that we can do that he wants us to do with other people and so take that chance with mom or dad or grandma or Aunt Susie whoever it is maybe it's cousin Madeline Look at Matthew 25 and what Jesus tells us he wants us to do. And then I'm going to show you one more thing. And um, I'm going to have to change my paper here, but I can do that. I can do that. And what I want you to do is to take maybe a small piece of paper like this and I want you to take a pencil and I want you to, to rub that paper really hard with a pencil until until that paper looks like this rubbed with your pencil and then then I want you to draw something on the clean side of that paper it can be anything you want it to be. Um, you may remember a month or so ago I asked you to draw a symbol, a picture of something that you like to do or that you'd like to be. Um, you could do that now. If you drew, if you like music for instance, you could draw musical notes or um, whatever it is that um, that you like to do, that you want to be and It'll look like this. Um, this is Sunday school, so I, I drew a cross. And then you're going to have that on a piece of plain paper after you draw this. Pretty bright, isn't it? Huh? And then I drew it, you see, on this piece of paper, and it's not nearly as bright. It's not nearly as clear as when I drew it on here. And so... 
when we, when we look at, maybe I want to be like Uncle Jack. Well, good to be like Uncle Jack. But you see, if you want to be like Uncle Jack because Uncle Jack is like Jesus, you need to look at the original. You need to look at Jesus. And so think about what Jesus would do. Now, I want you to love Uncle Jack. I'm sure that I'd be great. But when you do this, and if you see me sometime, tell me what you drew on here. Remember, we want to be like Jesus. We want to do as he told us to do. We want to show other people what he told us that we can do and that he wants us to do. And so I also want you to talk with whatever adult is with you today. I want you to talk about how it is that God can be in your life. How can God be in your life? And, and after you get done talking about it, I want you to look at that adult and the adult to look at you. And maybe it's going to be the whole family. And I want you to say to each other, Amen. Because amen means we want this to be so. And that's what it is. Those things you've talked about that, we want that to be so. Thanks. Enjoy your Sunday. And somebody will see you next Sunday. Bye for now.